Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss business rule component available in Dynamic 365. Business rule are client side side logic that can be built, no programming required. And these are triggered when a record is opened or when a field is changed that is in the rule condition. And these rules are basically related with field level rules only. For others like form, tab, section, they have to go for JavaScript. Different ways to use business rule. Set field value, clear field value, set field requirement levels, show or hide field, enable or disable fields, validate data and show error message. Create business recommendation based on business intelligence. And when we create a business rule, the scope determines that whether the role is applicable to all of the forms or a single forms or for the entire entity. Now, with Dynamic 365 update business rule, configuration has been enhanced with the complete UI from step by step addition to drag and drop addition. So with the help of the new interface, we can actually drag and drop the condition and the action so that we can provide the conditions to the available in the entity. And there in the text view display as will available so that you can check the role in the text format as well. Let understand the concept with the small demonstration. So go back to the system now. Now here I am going to create a business rule for a field in the account entity. Let's go to the account entity first. Now on the account entity form, you can see we have a field that is annual revenue field. Now currently if pass any value here it is not display any error message. Now I can save this value as well. What I want if annual revenue exceed value of 8000 it should show me an error message and it is not allow me to save this. Now for this, I am going to create a business rule. So I will go to the make dot power apps. Then click on solutions. After that, select the solution in which you are working. Right now, I am working in the form solution. Click on that. After that, select the account entity. Now, from the right side, you can see the business rule. Click on that. Then, click on plus new business rule. Now, firstly, give the business rule name. This checkbox indicate right indicate if the condition which you will provide written true. So what action you want to perform? And if it is given false, that what action? Now give some condition, select the condition first. Give the display name. Entity account source entity field annual revenue. And select the operator is greater than or equal to. And the type you provide a specific value. 
you can provide a field information or you can provide a formula and value click on apply button now if this condition return true so select right option arrow after that select the plus add button as you see these are recommended action add recommendation add local log add so error message add set, set field value add set default value add set business required add set visibility in my scenario i want to display error message so select add so error message my action should be on the basis of yes so i select plus give the display name on which field and what error message you should provide then click on apply button you can give for no or as well that in case is not greater than or equal to 8000 then what action you want to perform now click on validate button as you can see here is scope of the form whether you want to make the business rule available for all form for the customer for the account form in context etc so I am applying for all form When you define the scope, click on save button and after that click on activate button. Then click on activate button. Now came back to the system, open the account entity then open the record go to the annual revenue field as i give less than 8000 so for example if i give 6000 as you see it won't show me any error message if i give more than 8000 So as you see the message will be and the message which we have given in the rule. Please check your annual revenue. So in this video I specified a very basic rule which was checking the limit of the value for others you can check for the formula and the field as well. Thanks for watching.